Hey guys, welcome back to the Mob Africa channel. As you all know, we are all at the frontier of a major breakthrough, and on this channel, we try to break down this niche product to try and understand the quirks and features, as Doug Demura likes to call them. So today, we want to bring to you the FetchEye Native Wallet, also known as the Network Participation App. This will be a product that we shall most likely see in the not so distant future of the Fetch ecosystem. When you dig deeper into the Fetch technical papers, you tend to see a pattern. I know that would be the whole point to why these are written in the first place. But as you know, we cannot underestimate the power of follow through and the Fetch team has never disappointed. I think Fetch AI will shape up new ways of entrepreneurship and monetization that we cannot even begin to comprehend as of now. Therefore, in my opinion, understanding this new technology today will put us ahead of the competition. It will be like getting a grip on affiliate marketing, search engine optimization, online marketing and ads monetization before majority of the global population. Not everyone follows through on their white, light, yellow and other colored papers, but the fact that the Fetch team continues to deliver on their roadmaps further implies that they are diligently building and putting well-planned pieces together daily and not just flying this aircraft without GPS guidance. Everything is part of the plan and when it's all said and done, it will come together nicely like a perfectly attached complex Lego piece. To understand what this wallet is all about, we have to remember that FetchAI is all about autonomous agents and simplifying the process of creating and accessing them to finally applying them in a useful way. We were here for the technology. Economically speaking, for the FetchAI wallet or the NPA, the Network Participation App, an environment is created where the users can make an income from providing services on the open economic framework, processing transactions, and providing market intelligence. The wallet is very much tied into the whole Fetch node architecture, the topmost layer, in that its interface provides a means for submitting new transactions to the ledger system in order to make changes to the resource state, all the while minimizing the fees as much as possible. One way this is achieved is by each wallet address getting allocated to a random resource lane. Furthermore, the wallet can configure itself as an AEA to deliver information to the network or act as a relay for mesh networking, assuming that the user gives permission for these activities. In case you're a bit confused, basically the Open Economic Framework's primary API is exposed to the agents in the framework which then supports a number of base level commands. Some of these commands are free whilst others would require a small token cost, and others require something that is referred to as a trolley token which is a small deposit in FET tokens that is refunded if the operation is successfully executed. Underlying transaction payments are made in a quote-unquote gas token just like in Ethereum's GUI and the whole process of converting a FET token to the required gas is performed by a node, which node is then rewarded in FET tokens. I think we'll save the details for another video. This oversimplified view ties into the core functionalities of the FETCH network participation app which activates all this infrastructure by giving the user access to the agents, of which there are five types. We have inhabitants. These are autonomous economic agents or AEAs paired to hardware that exists in the real world. These could be cars, drones, sensors, cameras, mobile phones and computers. AEAs do not control these devices. They exist inside them as controllers, operators or drivers. Just as we listened and saw Nick here from Bosch describe how this vehicle is equipped with an agent, this is an actual practical example of an inhabitant. This eliminates the human aspects by creating a digital version of what would otherwise be a human component, i.e. an AEA in a self-driving car does not drive the car but rather tells the car where to drive. The second one are interfaces. These provide an interface between the old and the new economy. Fetch refers to these as API AEAs. They allow AEA entities to work with the leverage elements of the conventional economy such as ticket sales and can be thought of as facilitation agents. The third are pure software. These are pure AAs that exist in the digital space only. They explore, negotiate with and find new ways of serving their stakeholders. These are teams of entities that work to organize, schedule and arrange other AAs attached to hardware and interfaces to provide complete solutions. Number four are digital sales agents. These are a specific class of pure software agents that attach to data sources in data marketplaces and go out into the fetch world to extract value from the data. This is a solution to what is seen as the number one problem of the data industry. Data does not sell itself. And number five, we have representative agents. 
These are AEAs that represent an individual and act as their interface to the fetch network acting as a digital butler. Their systems are involved with understanding preferences and tolerance for change whilst initiating autonomous requests to fill the requirements of the owner. The Fetch AI NPA or Network Participation app is not like any other crypto wallet. It will be a smart wallet and it will be compatible with Mac OS, Windows, Linux and mobile clients that comes well fitted with a couple of additional features such as these. Number one, it enables the user to create autonomous economic agents to represent combinations of sensor information simply by dragging and dropping components. These unique arrangements of data and data sensors can be configured to create unique AEAs that can then deliver that value to other agents in the fetch world. Number two, it provides a representative agent, one that represents you. These agents can take your preference as stored safely, securely, and encrypted on your own personal device and use that to provide tailored solutions to problems that you might have. Number three, it allows the user to explore the decentralized world as though they were an agent viewing the fetch world and watching it changing as it rearranges itself in real time. The network participation app is a key part of delivering fetch.ai's features and utility to individuals, which in turn results into a large agent population that can be personalized by users to represent unique combinations of sensor data, general information, and human information. Thank you for watching. Hope to catch you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.